fabrication of pan forms that are used to form out the ceiling. And if you ever go into the garage, what you see is between ribs or joists, there's a form like this that's hollow. So you have two ribs with a hollow space. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pass out. These are the most recent photographs. And what I'm talking about, and you'll see this, is it, it's passed around. These are pan forms, okay? And these create the, the shape of the garage ceiling. The floor and then the ceiling, this is the C level. So when you go below on the B level, you'll see all these ribs and uh, sockets. So you can pass this around. And there was the delay on that fabrication. But all in all, all in all, that is a minor delay when you have such a large project. So the project we had anticipated would be finished sometime in September has been pushed back to October. Um, we've been working collectively as a group, which I have to stress is perhaps the most important thing in any project, especially our projects. And when I say that, what I'm saying is you have a group of board members slash committee members who are absolutely concerned about every step, every procedure, and every process in each of these projects. We hold not only committee meetings and board meetings, but once, the, once we are planning for a job, we hold committee meetings to discuss the progress, the bidding phases, when bids are due, selection of contractors, and then we get into the rhythm of weekly project meetings. Now, I've managed sites where I'm the only one, along with the architect, making decisions, and that's very tough for a manager because you don't want to make the wrong decision and then be questioned by thousands of people of why to choose red and not blue. Uh, 